place where memories are made, a place where friends and family come to meet, and a place where dreams come true. It's the heart and hub of our local community, and it has been that way for well over 35 years. Welcome to the Dryden Memorial Arena. I'm amazed every time I stop to think about it, and especially on nights like this, it's the greatest thing to, to witness. It's all for community, all for the love of the game, all for the kids, and it's just a pleasure to be a part of it. In the fall and winter, Dryden's Memorial Arena is home to over 600 ice users, from residents to local schools participating in sports like hockey, figure skating, ringette, and curling, just to name a few. Hello, my name is Keith Haplin. I'm uh, president of the 60 Plus Curling Club. It is a social gathering with the group. We have people that are 50 years old. We have people in their, in their higher 80s. In the spring and summer, it's home to many of the community's biggest events, including socials, sports shows, fishing tournaments, and our local powwows. It's a building that never really takes a break. Hi, my name is Janice Radburn, and I'm the treasurer and the off-ice can skate coordinator of the Dryden Skating Club. If you come out on a can skate session, you'll see families in the audience just absolutely amazed at how quickly um, kids, their children are learning to skate. And uh, we have a new can skate program this year that there's so much action on the ice, it's uh, really awesome. Awesome. Built in 1979, and like many arenas across this country, this arena is in need of some major upgrades. Hi, my name is Bill Reed. I work for the Kuwait and Patricia's District School Board, and I am a teacher coach of the Hockey Canada Skills Academy. We've been doing this now. We're into our second year. Uh, we've expanded from a 7 8 class with 25 students. Now we're over, uh, say, 150 kids or so in that range. Um, this whole program has been monumental for our whole town. Well, local volunteers have done what they can, the need for raising funds and securing grants is crucial at this point. When I come down here and I see kids playing hockey and doing all the things that I did as a kid, it, it brings me a lot of pleasure. And so if I can help out in any way, it's uh, it's a bonus for, for somebody down the line. Uh, girls hockey is one of the fastest raising sports in Canada. We need more uh, rooms for them to, to accommodate where they're uh, dressing. From the addition of gender-specific change rooms to the increased need for barrier-free accessibility, these upgrades will require close to $1 million. In order to address these improvements, the Dryden Recreation Extension and Modification Fundraising Committee was established, otherwise known as DREAM. With the support of Dryden City Council, dedicated volunteers, clubs and community members, DREAM looks to raise funds to make these upgrades possible and meet the needs of its users. I think that, that the community will really get behind this because they see it as a worthwhile effort. The, the community needs it to be able to retain and attract people to this community who are thinking of making a living here or rooting down. And also, of course, for the people who, who've lived here all their lives and they, they know, they remember the glory days and we want to get back to them. A lot of times uh, we don't recognize that this community is getting older and just because we're getting older we can't forget the young people who are coming up and and those those young families who are have moved here or are wanting to move here I mean most of these things if you look around um, Canada you know especially in our neck of the woods from what I've seen there's a large grassroots element to any of these kind of community projects it takes money and you know the, there's not a lot of money out there for these sorts of things and it takes a lot of money but what can get done is it can take a little bit of money from a lot of people. And you see it starting here in Dryden with the Dream Committee. Hosting tournaments, competitions and gatherings, this facility is an important source of income for many residents and businesses in the community. Improvements to the Dryden Memorial Arena will ensure it attracts events and new families to the city. I think it's essential that we do an upgrade on here for our kids. Um, as you can see, it keeps them engaged, it keeps them physical, they've got the social component going on. You can see within the arena tonight, there's hundreds of kids in here and they're having a great time, they're socializing, communicating, just making them better kids of the community. For more information on the Dryden Recreation Extension Modification Committee, Visit us at www.thedrydendream.ca or follow us on Facebook.